to talk about your patience, your, you know, more confidence coming to this year. Finally getting a chance to go out there and show all the work you put in. How, how excited are you for, for this first game? Yeah, very excited. I think it's been a, you know, I feel like I haven't played in forever, um, missing the playoffs last year. And, I'm um, excited to get going again and, and to be back on the field and get a chance to compete against somebody else. And um, I know we all are excited. Now that you've kind of started digging into the, the film on Philadelphia, what, what stands out about their defense? Yeah. Um, you know, it's always starts up, it starts with them up front. Always has, ever since I've been in the league, it's always been about their front. Um, Fletcher's obviously kind of been the anchor for that for the last handful of years. And um, the people they've added with Hargrave and now the, the rookie Davis and Barnett's a hell of a player. and. I know uh, Hassan Reddick, I played him a bunch. He's a hell of a player. So they got dudes over there who can who can rush and can do some good things. Josh Sweat, I mean, I could keep going. They've got probably five or six of them. So it starts up front with them, and um, we like our matchup with the, with those guys. We have a good O-line and feel good about it, but at the same time know that they're going to be coming. We know you have all the faith in the world in your offensive line, big B or no big B, but as they're kind of sorting through what they're going to do up front with, with the, the rotation, yeah. how much do you need to kind of be familiar with that as the quarterback just, you know, tendencies of those guys or is it doesn't matter no it doesn't really matter not that at that spot um right guard whoever it ends up being uh that guy will be fine and i trust hank and trust coaches and everything they're going to do and that guy will be ready to go you get glimpses on the hard knocks about your relationship how you and uh, ben johnson work together has it been as comfortable and smooth as you would hope yeah it's been better than i think i could ever imagine um the trust he has in me and um, the amount of uh, questions he asks me and, and vice versa, the amount of questions I can ask him and um, his responsiveness and, and, and how great he is at listening, all that stuff is, is so helpful for a quarterback. And um, I don't take it for granted. You know, he's, he's a great coach and, and someone I'm excited to work with. Ownership of the offense, not complete ownership, but partial ownership. Is that something that you had sought, hoped for? Yeah, absolutely. You always want that. Um, Again, I think he's given me uh, as much as, as I can handle, and, and you know, hopefully that's a lot to him, and I think it is. But uh, he's, he's given me a lot, a lot of responsibility and, and a lot of uh, say in, in the direction of things. And at the same time, it's, it's his fingerprints on everything, but uh, he, is, he has me in mind when, when he is making those decisions, and that's all you can ask for. Jerry, you talked a little bit about this a little bit on your radio show yesterday. How do you go about suggesting plays or suggesting things that you think might work? How do you present that? There's always a time and a place. You don't ever want to do it the wrong time and place because that's usually going to get you a no. Um, so, <laughs> so you should know when is the right time, uh, have some awareness, and know when the right time is, and then uh, you know n understand that most of them are going to be no's anyways. Uh, so, it, it, But if you get one in or you get a handful in, uh, you feel good about it. And, Again, with Ben, it's 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 uh, often yes as well. So um, he's got a great feel for things, and I think me and him see things the same way and are able to communicate in that way. Jared, there's been a lot of talk about tempo this offseason. How are you feeling just now uh, heading into week one about running the offense with a little bit quicker tempo? Yeah, definitely. I think you know we've got some, some wrinkles to do some things if we need to and no huddle. And um, if we pull it out or not, we'll see. Uh, I'm sure at some point we will if there's a two-minute drive or whatnot. But, um, yeah, we've got some ability to do some things at line scrimmage. He's a guy we're familiar with just because he, you know, started his career here. But what makes Darius Slay so good on the outside? He's so instinctual. Um, you know, he's he's often uh, visual and and instinctual and um, obviously quick and, and has great hands. Um, but he's kind of never out of position. Is is what I've seen and for, from him over the years. He's always kind of in the right spot, always in, in phase, and always you know kind of near the ball. Um, you know, he's, he's a hell of a player and a guy that I've played against a couple of times and have a lot of respect for. I don't know if Hard Knocks amplified the anticipation of this season around here, but um, do you detect that? Do you feel that? Because full, uh, it's full house on Sunday, which it yeah, saw is. Yeah, it's exciting. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very exciting. I think, I don't know what if Hard Knocks did it or whatnot, but, uh, you know, we are excited for it, and um, it, it will be a full stadium for sure, and we'll be loud and rocking, and um, we need our fans to come ready and, and give them something to cheer about. Is this as comfortable and confident as you felt in a while? And if so, what has led to that? Yeah, I'd say so. I, I think I've got um, I've got full control of what we're doing on offense and, and, and full ownership. And um, they've given me the reins, and, and I've ran with it as best I can. And, and I know that, you know, I think I know that they've been happy with the way things have gone up to this point with, with me in that position. But uh, it's, yeah, I feel I feel confident and feel uh, confident in the guys around me, too. It's It's been really fun. Unleashing it, you know, you've got a lot of, of weapons now, you know, yeah. and a lot of different ways you can you can go. And 
Yeah, excited about it. Again, excited to go against somebody other than ourselves for the you know, first time in what seems like forever. We had the joint practices with the Colts, got a little taste of that. But uh, it's it's really fun to be able to compete. That's why we play the game is to get out there on Sundays and um, the first one for us in a while. So we'll be excited. Obviously last year is last year, but you know, you look at the performance you guys had versus them. I mean, is that in the back of your mind? It's a little extra <clears throat> motivation just – how they, how they played out last year. Uh, I mean, sure, but it's it's still you know week one of the NFL season. If you're not excited for this one, I don't know what's wrong with you. So, yeah, sure, we 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 feel we owe them one for sure. But um, you know, I, I'm sure they're going to come in here thinking they're going to try to do the same thing again. So we got to be ready to go, and uh, it, it'll be fun. Just curious, when, when a team adds a piece like Chauncey really yeah. late in the process, how do you go about pre- preparing for that? Like, where where do you expect him to line up? You know, That's a good question. Go? Uh, yeah. We don't know. We may find out on snap one uh, where he's going to line up. They may not know yet. Who knows? Uh, so uh, we'll find out here as we go. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll get familiar at some point. Did you get a selfie with Eminem? I did. <laughs> did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Yeah. He, was, he, was, he was great. He was really cool to meet. Yeah. Thanks, Very cool. Cool. Thank, Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks,